Here in Buda, northern Burkina Faso, miners eke out a meagre living working in dangerous conditions. Burkina Faso is Africa's fifth largest gold producer, but between 700 and 1,000 of its mines are informal. Nothing. Children are among those working at these sites. Among them, as is Zabre, who left school two years ago to become a miner. I was at school, but I couldn't make money. I followed my friends to this mine. When I get gold, I can make $90 a month. I give some to my parents, and I keep the rest for my needs. An estimated 20,000 children work in Burkina Faso's gold mines. The owner of this mine says children will turn to crime if they have no other opportunities, but admits the situation is not ideal. Yes, of course it's good for kids to be at school. I even have some children at school. Ruki Ganame fled her hometown in northern Burkina Faso when Islamist militants arrived. Now, at 13, she's a minor. We were at school when these people came with covered faces, but they didn't get us because we left our classes quickly. My family and I left Soman to go to Ouagadougou and from there to Buda, where we are working at this mine. But the mines are not safe from terrorists either. Militants attack them and demand a cut of the revenue to fund their fight against the Burkina Faso government. <laughs> Meanwhile, efforts are underway to help children forced to leave school by the conflict. UN representatives say they are taking a multifaceted approach to return all the country's children back to school. We support the formation of policies, we support training, we support actors in the municipalities to carry out a plan that's sensitive to children's rights. The plight of these children has attracted funding, a pledge of 59 million recently from an international NGO. We look forward to working with all of you to tell the world about the situation, the challenges, the suffering, and steer the moral conscience of the rest of the world. The money will help, says Burkina Faso's education minister. This will provide for restoration of existing school infrastructures and new construction to allow internally displaced students to be able to go to school. It'll pay for food for the students. And it will help to support girls who are generally left behind and students who have dropped out of school due to gold mining, so they may also attend school. As for Ruki Ganami, she sees little hope of returning to school soon. I want to go to school, but I can't afford to ride the bus. It's too far from here to town on foot. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Buda, Burkina Faso.